Hey guys, it's so good to be back with you today. Glad to be back in your home. Oh, Miss Brenda, we had a good oh, last, last week. week. Didn't we? Oh, it was so good. Don't you remember? We talked about Joseph and how his brothers sold him into slavery and how he he just was so pleasing to his master, uh, Potiphar. That's right. And he was also pleasing to Potiphar's wife because she liked them and she wanted to do something bad with them and he wouldn't do it. And so she went to her husband and said, he did this to me. And oh, it was horrible. And they, Potiphar was so mad. He threw, he threw Joseph in jail. And even in jail, Joseph just went better and better and better and better. And then you remember how he interpreted some dreams and, and they came to pass exactly the way he said. And then it was told to Pharaoh when he had some dreams that, um, well, try Joseph. And he got Joseph to right. come and Joseph interpreted. And then bam, Joseph is now the leader right underneath Pharaoh. That's right. And because of that, because of they had this, remember, Miss Brother, we want to review that they had in Pharaoh's dreams, that uh, Joseph had interpreted the fact there were going to be seven good years oh, yeah. and seven bad years oh, of famine. Yeah. Like, you know how sometimes it's real dry here sometimes and sometimes it's got a lot of rain? So they had seven really good years. That's right. And then they had seven bad years. But Joseph was smart. You know why? Because he had listened to the dream that God allowed come through Pharaoh. So he knew how to prepare for this famine. So during the seven good years, he right. was he, he was says, back. In fact, Pharaoh was so impressed about his plan of how to even do it. Joseph even had a great plan how to do it. Yeah. And not only did he interpret the dream, but he told Pharaoh how to set it all up. And Pharaoh said, you know what? You're so good. I'm just going to put you in charge of it. Now, you don't think God's not good. See, here was something that the enemy meant for bad. And guess what happened? God turned it for good for because good. guess what happened? Well, I think there's some reconciliation coming in. That's right. And not all that, but guess what began to happen bad to his brothers and his dad? Now? Oh, yeah. The famine wasn't just in Egypt. Right. I mean, it was all over. Well, in fact, do you know what a famine is? Famine meant they was just not hardly any food anywhere. They were going hungry. I mean, it got so bad until finally Jacob... The dad of all of them had heard that there's food over in Egypt and he sent the brothers to go over Yeah, there. but he wouldn't send Benjamin. No, you know why he wouldn't send Benjamin? Because remember, he loved Joseph and Benjamin was his little only real brother. The others were kind of half brothers to him. And he really idolized Benjamin because he done lost Joseph. This wasn't going to happen to Benjamin because they yeah. both were born in his older age. So yeah. it really meant a lot to him. In fact, Joseph's almost 130 years old when he died. Isn't that uh -oh. amazing? That's now, so let's say, so the brothers went over. So what happened after that, Miss Brenda? Well, the brothers came in and they didn't recognize Joseph. But Joseph oh, so recognized them. So wait a minute. You mean they had to go to Joseph to get the food? Yeah, Joseph oh, saw no. him, What a him. mess. Can you imagine here? You know that you had sold your brother into slavery or sold him off. And the next thing you know, you're standing in front of him. Now, they didn't know that because guess what? They didn't recognize and, Joseph. No, and Joseph wasn't going to tell them. But no. Joseph did continue speaking in the Egyptian mm -hmm. language. That's right. So his brothers didn't realize that whenever they were talking in their Hebrew. He could understand everything yeah. they said. And he recognized them. Ah, oh, but you know what I heard? He played a, not a trick on them, not to be mean. But I think he kind of wanted to hear their heart and he wanted to see what was going on. So guess what he accused them of? They were spies. Oh, he accused them of being spies. Yeah, you Hebrews, you've come over here in Egypt to look what we have so you can spy it out so you can come over and take all our food. And what did they tell him, Miss Brenda? Well, you know what? They said, no, we're not spies. And he said, yes, you are. I'm putting you in jail. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, you're not. Yes, we are. And they put him in jail. They put him in jail. All 10 of oh, them. Oh, no. He threw them in jail because they were spies. Oh, but you know what, Miss Brenda? He was good, though. Joseph was so good. Guess what he did with nine of them? Just nine? Yeah, just nine of them. Now, what did he do? Uh, he let them go. He let them go. Isn't that amazing? But, ah, but he hung on to one of them. Remember who oh, that was? That was Simeon. Wasn't yeah, that was Simeon. He hung on to one of the brothers and told them that they were he was going to keep them in jail. Simeon stayed in jail. But they were going to, oh, and you know what they did? They messed around and accidentally told Joseph that they had a little brother named Benjamin. Oh, and now And that he was they back did. at home. So uh -huh. guess what? 
Joseph so much wanted to meet his brother again and see his little brother that he tricked them a little bit and told them if they come back, if they were going, he was going to keep Simeon, and they could go back home, take the food, and when they come back, they better not come unless they brought Benjamin back with them. Yeah. And so guess what? When they went home to tell Jacob, Jacob was oh, real happy, wasn't he? He was, he was old yeah, at yeah. that time. He was really old, a lot older than you. Uh, oh, man, that was old. <laughs> wasn't old. Real old then, wasn't it? So they, they had to tell their dad, and their dad said, What? You've lost Joseph. Now you've lost Simeon. You're going to be the death of me. Yeah, but the brothers were like, but we've got to. And they had gotten hungry again, and they were running back out of food again. And and you know what was interesting, though, Miss Brenda, when they went back over there, that, that Joseph had sent some stuff back with them over there. You know, and, and all the money that's that they right, took all their them, money. Guess what? Joseph had them to the stuff bag. it back in the bag. So when they went back, it didn't cost them anything. And you know what? They were they were really blown away they by were that. Scared. But now the food was run out again. So that meant Simeon must have been in jail for quite a yeah, while, hadn't it? You know what? Jacob held on as long as he could, and finally, finally he gave in. He so got he hungry. Had, you know, when you get hungry, you do a lot of things you wouldn't normally do. Well, guess what? Let's keep moving. It. Guess what? Now the brothers are getting ready to go. Dad, we've got to do this. We've got to do this. And so Jacob finally gives in and said, okay, take Benjamin. In fact, one of the brothers even said, Dad, I've got two kids, and if I don't bring Benjamin back from this trip, you know what? You could even take the life of my two children now. You don't believe he did, He meant business. He meant so business. guess what? They all go back. Now they've got Benjamin there. And when they get back again, remember Joseph, Joseph was this. like, oh, this is Benjamin. Yeah. He threw a feast for these oh, guys. Oh, he threw a big old meal for them. And, they and got you some. know what? They all got plenty to eat, but guess how much Benjamin, Benjamin got? Benjamin got five times five as much food. Five times. Five times as much food. But none of the brothers said anything. That's about. right. But guess what? And Joseph was so taken back by this, Miss Brenda. He got so, not upset, but so happy and so joyful to see us. He had to leave out of the room because he was probably crying and he didn't want him to see it. And he was in there going, oh, I'm so happy to see my family. And he just, you know, and finally, you know, just to, to bring the story kind of close, you know what? He finally goes in there and well, admits. They, going, oh, well, they, 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 they put the, the sack. They, they go got, back. That's right. They go back again. They had don't the they. sacks. They put all the stuff in the sack. But the but Joseph told his guys, put my cup in right. Benjamin's sack and my silver cup. And so... He, they did, but the guys didn't know. And they take off, and now remember the silver cups in the sack, and the guy that Joseph sends out to go catch up with them over there, he finds the silver cup. And they're like, what? But, oh no, so now they got to go they got to go say, wait a minute, this didn't happen. Well, finally Joseph just, he's just had enough of it, and he finally tells them who he is. Guys, I don't want to lose, lose the rest of this time. Reunion. It was a happy ending. Guys, you, do you see but between last week's lesson and this week's lesson, do you see how that when when God was trying to do good things and Joseph was such a blessed young man by the Lord, do you see that when bad things begin to come in Joseph's life, that God turned those things for good, Miss Brenda? Yes. The Bible tells us that all things work to the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Now, it does not say that God did those bad things. That's right. But, you know, God is so good at turning it around for the good right. that sometimes we like to blame God or, or say that God caused the bad things. Ooh. But that's not and, true. And you know what else? It never fails, guys. And here's what I want you to realize is Jesus told us that we were going to have resistance in this life. Yeah. Things were going to come against us, but he would always be with us and he would always turn around. Anytime you're trying to go after the things of God, guess what? The enemy, Satan, our, our, our people, our bullies, or whoever it is in life will try to knock the legs out from under you. Sometimes it's your family. Oh, even your own family. Like, like this Joseph's case. That's right. His own family even came against him. Well, guys, I hope you've grasped onto this lesson. Even when resistance comes, remember that God loves you and he will take you through and if God's you'll be patient. Got a plan. That's right. If you'll just be patient and you'll endure. And you won't get angry and get frustrated. God will put you on top. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Bye, guys. We love you. Bye. Have a great week.